very much for that. Let's uh, pick up on that now with George Samueli, who's a senior research fellow at the Global Policy Institute at London Metropolitan University. Welcome to the programme. Um, I don't know if you heard what more I was saying there. Why do you hear, why do we hear such Hello. different perceptions of Donald yes, Trump's sir. position on Ukraine? Well, I think uh, Donald Trump senses, and he has sensed for a while, that the kind of permanent government in the United States, the national security establishment, is very anxious to provoke a confrontation between the United States and Russia. And I think he has sensed for some time that, uh, the, that he's being pushed into this uh, confrontation. He is resisting so far. He's resisted as, as best he can. Uh, he has refused to uh, speak uh, badly about uh, Putin. He has refused to uh, condemn what's going on in the Ukraine. But there is going to be more and more pressure on him. And there is a real danger that there could be some incident, a provocative incident, that will just inevitably uh, draw him into some kind of a confrontation with Russia. Well, do, you, do you think that's what's going to happen then? Which, which stance do you think he's going to take? Will he speak before he has to about it? Well, I think his instinct is that uh, Russia is not uh, United States' um, main adversary. The main adversary uh, geopolitically is ISIS or jihadism in general and uh, America's economic problems and therefore that involves uh, relations with uh, China and how America can get jobs back to the uh, United States. Uh, Russia really is, hasn't, doesn't play any part in all of this. So Trump doesn't want to get involved in any kind of a dispute with Russia. But uh, you know, he is being pushed into this. And if there is some sort of an incident, let's say um, uh, Americans uh, shoot down some uh, Russian uh, plane in Syria, or um, uh, you know, there's some in inadvertently uh, Russians um, uh, sh shoot at some uh, American forces in Syria. He will inevitably be drawn into this uh, conflict, and it'll be very hard for him uh, to resist uh, this, uh, you know, essentially a new or a continuation of the Bush Obama Cold War. Uh, Mr. Trump might not want to be getting into any kind of unseemly spat with Moscow, but what about his fellow Republicans? How's he going to get around people like John McCain, for example, who's not exactly Moscow's biggest fan? Well, it's very difficult. Uh, and in fact, um, as you probably know, the current um, uh, fighting uh, in Ukraine, it, it directly flows from the visit made by McCain, by Lindsey Graham over the new year, in which they pretty much encouraged uh, Ukraine to launch an offensive. When Lindsey Graham said to them, your fight is our fight. So, yes, the Republican Party, it's in its DNA, a kind of rabid uh, Russophobia and a deep anxiety um, about Russia and an, and, and an eagerness to start a, uh, some kind of a confrontation with Russia. So it's, uh, it's extremely difficult. But more serious is his own, Trump's own military security establishment. I mean, there was the, uh, the, the CIA, which before he even became president, was leaking very, very damaging and uh, information about him uh, and pretty much suggesting to the media that uh, Trump was some kind of a, uh, a stooge of uh, Putin's. So he's got problems with the Republican Party establishment, but even more seriously, he has problems within his own uh, national security apparatus. Do you think Trump could be deliberately muddying the water, playing for time? Yes, I, I think so. I think he clearly doesn't want to be uh, pushed into anything. Uh, on the other hand, he, you know, he doesn't really want to uh, be seen to be, given, given all of the accusations that have been made now for more than a year that he's a Russian agent, that he's working for Putin, he's Putin's cat's paw. Given all of that, he clearly doesn't want to uh, do anything that would seem that, oh, he, he's, he's doing Russia's bidding. So that's why he's not talking about lifting sanctions. Um, he even had uh, Nikki Haley give a very orthodox, uh, you know, Russia bashing speech at the UN uh, the other day. So 
uh, he's essentially not taking any real position yet. So he's being neither being pushed into a confrontation with Russia, nor is he doing anything very much to um, improve relations. He's just uh, he's just hoping that um, you know somehow you know when things blow over, he could maybe start carving out uh, his own distinctive foreign policy. Good to get your perspective on this. George Samueli, Senior Research Fellow at the Global Policy Institute of the London Metropolitan University. Thanks ever so much for joining us on RT. Okay, thank you.